underestimated my opponent's strength and resolve. During the Restoration Wars, the Cregans were of minor concern. Now they fight with an urgency neither I nor Roland have encountered. I have pulled the bulk of my forces back behind Arathia's border. Between us and the Cregans lies Moss Valley. It is one of Arathia's more beautiful landscapes. Tactically, it is ideal. If I can hold this valley, I can close the border. Then I can determine how to destroy the Demon King Lucifer and his quest to set the world on fire with Armageddon's blood. Messengers inform me Queen Catherine and Roland Ironfist are retreating to the Arathian border. Asri has chosen to turn a blind eye toward the war, but has purposely left local heroes to their own will. Under the Queen's orders, we are to wage a hit-and-run war along the Asri border. Our only support will be local militia hostile toward the Cregans. Should we be captured, Arathia and Asri will disavow any knowledge of our actions. Otherwise, this task is no different than before. Together, we might destroy Lucifer Cregan and his quest to set the world on fire. Catherine trusts me, dear ally. I am not her Gibby. However, we do not have her choice, as support for the war wanes and our forces dwindle. If these elemental heroes are to be our allies, they will prove themselves in their forthcoming battle. Under my command. In my operations, information is always scarce and never given full trust. Now, I am told the elemental confluxes we have encountered have allied with Queen Catherine in her war to destroy King Lucifer Cregan. I have orders to move deep into Eothel, behind the main Cregan force Catherine holds at the border. There, I am to cut off any potential escape route. I pray this is not a trap. With the majority of the Cregan forces destroyed, Arathia's lords have grown weary of this war and have withdrawn their support. They do not understand. This is a critical moment. To continue this war, I have stepped down as Arathia's queen. Myself, Roland, and the Conflux forces will continue to press to the capital of Eothel. However, between us and the Demon King stands the hero Zorion. We are told he wields Armageddon's blood. We must succeed for the safety of Arathia and the world. Armageddon's blade is no longer a threat. However, King Lucifer Cregan still sits upon the throne of Eothol. What few clans remain have rallied to defend their king in his lost cause. Arathian spies tell us the Demon King has requested support from the Dungeon Overlords of Malron. We cannot confirm this. If it is true, we cannot allow Lucifer to receive this aid. We must dethrone the Demon King. Time is short, but now we wield Armageddon's blood. It is time we take Armageddon into the heart of Hell itself. Lucifer Cregan is dead. The few remaining Cregan clans have gone into hiding. All but a few of the elemental confluxes have disappeared. I am sure we will see them again, if needed. As for myself and Roland, we will soon depart for Enya, and I will see my son again. As for Jazu, I left Armageddon's blade in his hands. Following our victory, he and his guerrilla army vanished into the Arathian forests. 
I do not know if he intends to destroy the weapon or keep it for himself. In time, I'm sure we will all know. nigh on lands given to him by a much greater father. He squandered his time and done little to earn his stature. I have stood in his shadow and by his borders too long. His lands will be mine. Thorwald is absent. Hmm. No wonder his lands were so easy to take. It seems he has spent his life and his father's fortune in pursuit of the fabled vial of dragon's blood. What is there to hold blood taken from the dragon father? What is to leave drinking it will transform the user into a sentient dragon? Thorwald isn't as stupid as I believe. Still, he is going. I will find him and the vial, but first, I must dispose of the young lord to have heard the news and missed what's my duty. close to the vial, but his conservative actions and slow thinking leaves the way open for me to surpass him. As much as I must worry about Thorwald, I must consider the vial. Once I have passed him, there is the vial, and no doubt it will have guardians. Dragon guardians. I am successful. Now Thorwald and his lackeys seek to slay me and drink my blood. They believe it will transform them as the vial transformed me. They will never drink my blood. I will be the one to drink their blood. belong to me. Soon, all of Nyon will belong to me. My mother has finished preparations for my final test. The finest crystal expressly taken from the caverns of Kuyar has been used to create a great dragon golem. This creature's construction is a feat of magical prowess. To destroy it is even a greater feat. But I have heard the greatest feat a dragon slayer can accomplish is to kill a rare and mighty Azure dragon. Rust dragons have taken to feeding from the mines near the town of Oka. These uncommon beasts have chased off the peasantry and now their livelihoods are in jeopardy. As a hero, I should do this for the townspeople. Yet I do this to hone my skill. Where rust dragons abound, the azure may be nearby. I have never seen a fairy dragon. Little is known about these notorious troublemakers. What is known is found more in storybooks than magical tomes. Some say they are invisible. Some say they can cast spells. Some say they are only three feet high. Some say they are the henchmen of the azure dragon. I do not know what to expect or how my skills will be tested. Nevertheless, the more I know, the better I will be prepared for the Azure Dragon. I have found a nest of mighty Azure Dragons. I have also found my destiny. Azure Dragons do not nest for long and command an entourage of dragons of all colors. The task is great, but I am determined. Victory is hollow. I do not understand why. I have accomplished what only the elite dream. In my private moments, I have felt this beast would be the key to unlock a long sought personal contentment. I was wrong. My dissatisfaction stirs, and I wonder 
what is next. Alongside my father, I have killed behemoths before, but never an ancient behemoth. To contest the throne, I must slay one of these fearsome beasts. I relish the encounter. After I have slain this one, I will know how to subdue him. Then I will enthrone him in my bloody ascension to kingship. I have tamed a great beast. Now I must tame the monsters of the land. As the carnage grows, so does my power and bloodlust. I will sit upon the throne of Kurlad. Neither man or beast will stand in my way. In the Festival of Lights, those who fail either die at the hands of their enemies or by their own hand at the cavern. I will be merciful toward my opponents. I will take no prisoners. Many respect King Barragas. Many fear he is one of the greatest rulers Krulad has ever known. I do not know this king personally, and I find his accomplishments unimpressive. If he is to earn my respect, he will do so only when he stands over my grave. I have bathed in the blood of my enemies and sit upon the throne of Krulad. My reign begins now. I am king. from Iraqi to my homeland of Catalia, I have passed through several towns. I have yet to encounter a living soul. There is only the lingering stench of the owl's dead. I fear a necromancer in the area is raising an army. He is unknown. Why is unknown. With the conclusion of the restoration war, Lord Hawk's necromantic cult disbanded and went into hiding. It appears that they have resurfaced and resurrected their leader. Now Lord Hawk walks the Titalian lands, a death knight. If I am to continue my hunt for the dead warrior, I will need help. I hope my countrymen will be wise and not shun a hero who embraces foul magic. I do not know what the dead remembered from their time among the living. If Lord Hawk has memorized Titalia, it has failed him. Scouts report the dead knight has turned northwest and set up along the coast. No, I have not seen it. However, Omen Law reveals my people do not like following the Fire Witch. People dislike becoming undead as a monk. Tomorrow, I will wake and this nightmare will end for myself, Catalia, and its people. I do not know if I have buried a hero or a villain. In my travels, I have heard many stories of Lord Hawk's bravery and ultimate downfall. Now I am left to rest. I wonder if the stories my countrymen tell will stick of me as a fire witch in a land of earth and water, or as a hero. All I wanted was a simple vacation. One hurricane later, and I'm here on this island with these foul-smelling natives. Perhaps my father was right when I told him about my dream of becoming freight inspector. Maybe my military training can help me get off this forsaken sand prison. I swear, these natives only know two things. How to start a war and how to throw a party. Apparently, the natives I just defeated want me off the island as much as I want off. One condition. I must reclaim the lands I just took from them. Oh, the stench. It's poetic justice, a bad joke, or plain ignorance, but I was informed my native friends forgot the rather important navigation equipment. After many days and nights, we found our salvation and discovered another small island full of pirates. Apparently, they too do not understand the arts of the freight inspectors. If you were to ask me where my loyalties lie, in all honesty, I would answer, through whomever could get me home. So I learned.
end of the nearby Alaskan outpost, I knew I had found my escape. I left those filthy pirates in the middle of the night, and I arrived at the Arathian outpost the following morning. Little did I know the outpost was the next target of my former pirate allies. What luck! I've managed to catch a ride aboard Queen Catherine's ship en route to Arathia to attend her father's funeral. I'm told the Arathian countryside is quite beautiful. At last, I can leave all this tarmac behind. I think it should make a fitting vacation spot. I can't wait. <laughs>